Hey there everyone, I know it's been a while so I thought I'd try to get back into this again and just review another type of a commentary gameplay video here, which is of course, it's the, quite the popular one which is The Sims. And yes, this is McKellar here, a nice little voiceover host for, you guys, for all of you. So, anyways, I've just been messing around with this, with this game, The Sims, for quite some time already, The Sims 4, and yes, I've been having one hell of a good jolly good time with it. And, well, considering the fact that, you know, various types of versions of The Sims as it is, I know that I haven't... Now, this has been a long time since I've, since I've played The Sims game in itself. I haven't played The Sims since, like, the, the, original, the original Sim game from the PlayStation 2 phase about roughly, like, um, either... A decade or a decade and a half ago, which is about roughly now, like 10 to 15 years ago. Okay, so pretty much like I said, I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of review upon some th upon some things on this game here that I've always enjoyed. I've always had rather very much enjoyed, you know, messing around with. Had always had fun pl playing around with and so on here. And I'm just gonna give you a little bit of version of on my game here of like keep in mind this game here as it is. It is it is on a PlayStation. It is on a PlayStation 4, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and continue on here. Let me just get this going here. And once we get the whole, this whole thing filled up here, I'm going to show you the kind of add-ons which I had placed on, uh, this, on, this, on my version of The Sims 4. I'm going to show you guys some stuff here. That you know, I, I always had always had really enjoyed. It was rather quite nice, and it's just again some updated version of the stuff that I'm going to show you here, just for the hell of things. I know other, I know there are other uh, Sims 4 game games on, um, on on YouTube that I'm sure everyone has or viewed them themselves, and my version of it that I have been messing around, with, playing around with, and so on. Some of them I have been having a good time with it, some of them has been quite satisfactory, and others it's just that it's rather okay, it just seems a little confusing, and think, huh? That doesn't make any sense. But like I said, I will, I will just go ahead and just, you know, review with all of you here, and just kind of give off my little thoughts upon this as, you know, as I go through it. As this is loads up, I'm going to show you guys something here. Almost there. Okay, so here is my little interface, so to speak. Now, just gonna show you guys something here. What I what I have here. Now we already know about the whole expansions here, which is uh, you know uh, get famous, become a movie star. Yeah, realistically, in the whole world, even breaking in the entertainment industry is really freaking beyond uh, you know hard to bad enough or complicated enough as it is but yeah obviously in the game here you can no problem uh you know i don't have this here is the seasons one i don't have this one i've, I've been thinking about going on ahead and get this one because i thought it might be pretty cool to to have a look into this the pets one right here the cats and the dogs i've been messing around a little bit and having pets are always nice you know, it's always kind of a little fun to have like a dog or cat that have like puppies and kittens and so on. However, there's some things that are a little off that I, you know, th thought that didn't seem quite right. But like I said, I'll, I'll review it with you all later on. Uh, and city living, which I thought, okay, well, it's not too bad. It's rather okay. So like I said, like I'll give you a review about that a little bit later here. Get together. I wasn't really quite interested in that. And get to work. I thought this was actually pretty cool. And the reason why I wanted to get the whole get to work is because, like you know, like I'm not doing that. I'm not really doing that whole type of 100 baby challenge. Although I'm pretty sure that'd be fun and pretty sweet to do something like that. But I did get the whole get to work part in order to install the whole Sims hospital in, in on the game. So when I take, like uh, when I take the female Sim to the hospital, at, you know, when she's when she's pregnant and about to give, and she's in labor, bam, there's a hospital and she can give the birth there. And there are other packages, but you no, know, I'm pretty sure. Like, if some of you already have the game, you already know how it is. Like, such as, of course, as it is, ju a Jungle Adventure, Parenthood. I thought about getting that one. That was, was too sure. Vampires. Don't really care much about that. Dying Out. I uh, thought about getting Spot Day, but we'll see. Outdoor Retreat. Laundry Day stuff. 
I don't know about the laundry day, but, but okay, whatever, sure. Uh, toddler stuff, fitness stuff, bowling night stuff, vintage glamour, spooky, movie hangout, romantic garden, kids room stuff, and backyard. So let's have a look at what we got here. So here's the whole city living as it is. And if you guys want to, if you guys want to pause this just to read the whole fine print, and so on. So like, if that's not a problem, by all means, go ahead. Uh, one second here. So this is the whole city living. No, oh, it's not too bad. I thought, I thought it was rather okay. Jeez, that night, like that part of the scene rather looks big enough to be like New York City, and for Peter Parker slash Spider-Man to be swinging on on. Again, just my little opinion about that. <clears throat> and. Pets? Of course, who who the hell doesn't love pets, right? Yes, animals are always fun. I've never really worked in a whole vet, but also I'll one day maybe give it a give a you know give it a shot at see how it's like. Yep, so that's just how it is. And this whole Sims uh, get to work. Playing as a de playing as a detective, like, I'm playing as like a cop, like a detective, uh, either play a doctor or detective or a scientist or wor or work in retail. Now that part, of my first thought was working in retail. Well, I don't know about that, but whatever, I guess. And discover aliens. I'm just kind of reading some stuff at the side here. Learn the new photography and baking skills. Well, okay, whatever. So, like I said, like I've uh, so I tapped into some parts of it, like such as uh, becoming a becoming a cop, uh, becoming like a doctor, a scientist. So, on a separate video, I'll just throw it up there, just kind of give you guys a little bit of like a cliche review of what I've done in the whole part of that and uh, part of those uh, occupational section in the Sims version, just for the fun of things. So, it's just a little something that I'm going to. You know, I'm gonna show you guys just for the hell of it, and which parts of like the whole, you know, which, which parts of like some things from various types of angles on The Sims 4 that I really enjoyed, and I thought, well, it was not, it's satisfactory, but not that much. But other ones are very much satisfactory, and I thought it was pretty cool and nice. So I thought, why not I'll share this with you guys for the hell of things. So without further ado, why not let's let's go at it. Okay, so now here is the first part of like uh, for the whole Sims 4 game is when you obviously like you know cr create a bunch of sim characters of like of your of your own liking like you pretty much just customize them however way you want to you know like uh, oh. good part of that is like obviously the whole part of like the whole genetic makeup as it is you can either. Just for the hell of it, I'm just gonna just I'm gonna breeze right through this. I'm sure all of you know of uh, everything about the whole thing, like such as you can either turn someone like her into either toddler. <laughs> child. Cubeba. <laughs> Teen, which I guess it's not much of a um, hmm. really huge difference, but she's a teen in that kind of appearance. <laughs> been nice, Guno. Like I said, not that much of a difference, but you know, she's a young adult. As she gets older, she's as you can tell, she's got a little bit of some uh, wrinkles on her. Which I will admit, EB Ga EA Games has done a good job of making the whole extensive amount of details on that, which I thought was pretty cool and pretty awesome about that. And then here's the elderly part. Ibby Chib, the North. Hmm. Holy shit, that's all I gotta say. Now talk about being freaking old ass realistic enough as it is. That's, damn, I'm impressed with that. So I'm gonna just take her back to the young adult area, just to reverse the time, and there we go. <laughs> and I'm sure, sure everyone knows about the whole part that you can create the whole kind of distinctive walk about the whole, about your whole sim, which is like uh, <laughs> default. Dag. She's got the whole music thing going on. Bit of the whole high class pretentious BS, which I don't really, which I'm not really a huge fan of that. Uh huh. But the whole 
easy going kind of walk, whatever the hell it is. Little princess kind of walk. Wait, what was that? Rough around the edges kind of walk, I guess you can say. Apparently she's walking, yet she can't really uh, stand up straight. I guess. Really, really tired. And I guess quite uh, filled with energy, vibrant, I suppose. Now, as soon as I looked at this, my first thought was, why in the, why in the hell would EA Games include something like this in this? Like, really? What the hell is this? <laughs> Jeez. That really makes no sense. That's like... That, that's that's like a very bad introductory of, you know, being creepy stalker. You know, like, I'm gonna do something really bad to you and make a snuff video and put it on the dark web kind of, uh, kind of approach. That's just like, what the hell is this? Oh, good God. So, anyways, I'm gonna just... So, for the hell of things, I'll give her the whole little kind of, uh... Bit of this whole, whole seductive princess little walk, whatever the hell you want to call it. And... So I'm just gonna just leave that here. Uh, well, that's, I'm pretty sure this is like self-explanatory. But like, usually what I do is like, if I were to create that type of uh, female sim, I'd go with this one here. I think it's just kind of really nice and sweet. And I... Was. The hell? I, I, I thought I already had, this, already had this set up already. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go through this very briefly. So I'm just gonna go give her, become a book smart kind of person. Now, I'm just going to give you a whole bit of a rough down here. Just going to very quickly get through this. <laughs> yeah, we already know what that does, right? Just huh. make her smart, whatever. Give uh -huh. her a nice little confidence. <laughs> She's got this shit. Uh -huh. Okay. So, now, here's a little, here's a little final little part about something here I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> One genie Lorray. Edit relationship. Okay, and then I'm going to show you this for the hell of things, guys, here. Edit relationship. Ah. Now, you get, you get to choose the whole part that... Well, now, there's a, you know, there's the other guy named Ken. You, know, you can either choose, choose him as like either roommate, brother, husband. So, if he was roommate enough as it is, and I'll be showing this in the videos for the hell of things... Obviously, you know, they're just like friends or whatever. And, okay, so pretty much got that already nailed down. Okay, I, yeah, I already did that already. Okay, so I already got that. So I just gave her, I gave her really a random name, Annabelle Funk. And so that's her right there. So there's this, uh, there's that Ken Shelby guy. And I'm pretty sure all of you know everything about this. There's a huge part of... I didn't really much... I'm not really much into that whole type of little brass type of really deep voice kind of a voice with it. That's okay, but... That sounds too bad. Okay, good enough. Okay. Choose a walk for this guy, so I'm going to give him that whole... that. Yo. No, I'm not giving him that damn look. That uh, damn walk. Eh. This is good. Okay. Again, oh yeah, the whole tough walk. I guess the whole tough, tough confident kind of walk, I suppose. So, okay. So, what the hell I'm going to do here, guys, is just going to show you this very briefly here. Okay. Just going to show you very two separate differences. I'm pretty sure this is not a, new, a whole brainer kind of thing, but, you know, I'm just going to show you this for the hell of things. Now we got those. We got the two couple going, and I'm just gonna show you guys just for the hell of this as to the whole differences here, because I know that in, when when I know when I used to play like the uh, the Sims, like the uh, the original Sims game on the PlayStation 2, I do know that there obviously were some major huge differences that, and I'll and I'll be able to show you in the in the next clip here. And, well, like I say, so I got the whole settings that these two, they were just roommates or whatever. So, again, I'm just going to show you the, very briefly, like. Okay, so here is the first, like I said in, in, the, in the previous clip, here is the couple right here, okay? Now, with, these, with this couple right here, now keep in mind, 
the code uh, some of the codes are active they're uh, they're so-called um, here their needs are already met they don't have to worry about anything uh, one thing I will do just for the hell of things okay oh shit ah, fuck. my bad hold on a second here it's gonna quickly quickly there we go I wanted to just do something real quick like there no you're not going anywhere okay so I'm just going to real real quickly here just gonna get his uh, charisma and his comedy up here because I'm going to show you guys a little trick on something here and like a previous clip here is his charisma go for 10 guess what boom done I forgot to do this uh, in the previous clip here so again I'm just going to show you something here now what I'm about to show you guys Okay, this is what, part of my whole review about this, that, like, you know, there are some features on here that are not too bad. They're actually quite nice to, you know, kind of mess around with this. So, putting their comedies up at 10. Okay, there's a reason why I'm doing this. I'll show you. Okay, so now their charisma and their comedy or whatever, they're ranked up at the whole 10 area because there's a reason why I'm doing this. Now, I want you to look at this really carefully here because now these two right here, they're all roommates. They don't even know each They literally don't know each other at all. Okay, uh, just gonna... No, that's not it. Uh, where is it? Uh, let's see, relationship. Okay, see? Right here. Now, this Ken guy... He barely, he doesn't, he barely knows this Annabelle girl. They're not good friends. They don't, uh, like, um, they could be friends, but like, they, he doesn't, they don't know each other. They're, they're at the whole level of being, of, of merely being just acquainted. That's it. That's all. They're just like acquainted. That's just my little guess, because concerning the fact they know very little about each other. And they can go ahead and just be like good friends and, I was gonna show you something, guys, real quick. Like here, da, 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 da. so I'm gonna get them to go ahead and just, just get, just go ahead, and get them to just get to know each other, just chat about whatever. Now, if I really wanted to, for example, just get them to go ahead and just chat them up, uh, let them become good friends, and if I wanted one of these two to become an item, to become a couple, to become good, to become like like literally an, an item. Uh, be in a romantic relationship like their boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever right now something like that tell jokes about ducks sure what the hell now if I want to now if I want to get them both in like a romantic relationship with each other and they're and they're a couple now something like that here I'm just gonna show you this <laughs> dag, dag. I love their gibberish, uh, Zarf gibberish Zonzo. talk. It's not funny, Tally. Quink, quink, abba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you can tell, they're gradually getting to know each other. They're just chatting it up, shooting the breeze, whatever, right? Braza. Yes. Chonkabi, Shabashu, Kanumi. Horseway. They're gibberish. Uh, their charismatic gibberish is so comical. Okay, so uh, la, 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 la. like I said, there's a reason why I'm showing you all this. And have a look at this. Since now that there's that their that their whole sociable type of interaction and their charisma is at level ten, that uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Okay, so that also means uh, okay, go ahead and get the nil part. Hey boy, a pleva. Yeah, sure, sure. Dabishi Slekum? Mm. Mm. Kankuya! Droba, droba, droba. Seek a neba. Serepi. Ubnate, unga. Suchimi Gaza. Soda Saburano? So, right now, their, their, own, their own type of charisma is at level 10. <laughs> and <laughs> it is, and it's climbing pretty, it is, it is rather climbing pretty quickly. Uh, Let's see here. 
uh, let's get to know, I guess. Get her to, let's see here. Du, 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 du. No, I'm not going to insult her. That's stupid. Um, tell crowd-pleasing story. Sure, what the hell. Oh. <laughs> Limana oh. Bratsa. Barpasa Debois Kampol. Veruta Finoble. Chima Ifin Bethange. Cababene. Lumina. Okay, so the whole part of this is that they're just getting to know, know each other. And they're trying to become really good, good friends or close friends or best friends to wait to the, way, way long before to the point that. No, 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 no. You fucking stay there. Yes, you too. So the whole point about this is that they're merely just trying to, you know, get to know each other and. It, like, cause like in the original part of The Sims, like for a good example on the PlayStation Two, you would have to really try and get to know them, so that way that they can become like a good. Uh, oh, Kimba. Just, just chat, okay? Just keep on Bob going. Bob Abgor, Shimagra Gorsai, Flazzle Vilpa, Wesabu Ukenik, Kapow! Okay, so I'm just gonna pause this right here. I'm just gonna briefly tell you this here that you'd have to get these two to become really good friends and then hopefully if their social skills are high enough you can go ahead and um, okay so here's all the friendly type of interactions here's more options be more friendly be funny be mean slash be a dick tell her go away yell at insult I'm sure all everyone gets a gift of that mischief Give fake bad news, invite to fake party, lie about career, scare, slap him silly. I've never actually never tr tried one of these before, but anyways, I, that's, a, that's a different category. With the whole romance part, okay, uh, I don't know if it's really, the skill level is really, is really all that up there. Uh, let's just, d -d 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 okay, flirt. Flirt's always good. So... I'm gonna go ahead and choose flirt. Shinisi Abimo Finba Yanifeb. Shalbo Bempi Guant. Kelsey Lamary. Mwah. <laughs> Bash. Okay, and then. Now, this is what I'm talking about here is that. Offer Rose for what the hell not. Chavender King. Lesser Rack. Changi. Vadish. Oh. 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 She. Okay, now as you can already tell, at the very top of the screen, those who are becoming flirty, they're becoming more kind of uh, getting their whole little romance going on. Now, do, now do the part of the whole uh, the whole Sims on the PlayStation Two. You had again. This is just a rough example that you would have to get the, them to become like really good friends or. Be at least decent good friends or whatever and then try flirt with them and try to get their old mats kind of going on so like that was you and obviously you can do the same thing in in the sims 4 that's the whole difference obviously right like to try and just be friends with them first and try and get the whole romance thing like you know something i i think you're you know i really do like you have a really beautiful personality i think you're very attractive blah, 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 blah. and then I, I really, really to, like to get to know you because I'm interested in you. I'm, I'm attracted in various ways. La, la, la. So again, that's just kind of giving off the sample of that. And that kind of builds up and whatever. I'm pretty sure everyone gets a whole gist of it. Hmm. Now, since I've already had shown, uh, shown, you all, shown all of you guys uh, the first pair that had to pretty much go through uh, the, like meeting each other, uh, trying to build up a good friendship, be friends first, and then trying to hit the whole part of seeing if those two have a chance of dating or whatever. Now, the only difference between that and this one right here, now, the whole difference is with that. Now, this is an entirely different type of a, um, a, a, a two people here. I'm just randomly choosing, like, whoever, and, like, I'm not going to really do a huge kind of game with these people. Again, this is just an example. So here we have Kinsley Rap and Kent Rap. These are just random names I just chose, so whatever, didn't really matter. 
So I've already chosen everything about her and whatever. Now the only difference with that now is that instead of having him as as like a roommate, choose as a brother, well whatever. I don't usually choose that, but I, I'll make experiment with it with some time. We'll see. Uh, and then so roommate, they just kind of meet each other and become like good good friends and then whatever. Then there then if you choose him as a husband. Guess what happens? Directly after you have made that little option of switching from like uh, from roommates to husband and vice versa, like roommate to wife, guess what happens? Well, there is Kinsley. It's because I'm already, I already have the option on her. Now here is Kent. Boom, right there. Now they don't need now they do not need at all to go through the whole part of you know becoming you know meeting each other, becoming good friends and you know, trying to build up a good friendship until hopefully these two can ask each other out, do the whole spiel of saying I you know, I, I have some special feelings for you, I'd like to be like like to be your boyfriend, da 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 whatever and then when it comes to the whole part of the whole uh, gaming convenience for the whole nice little gaming, uh, well, you know, just make things a little easier for the experience of it, the gaming experience that has some gaming convenience, so to speak. Guess what? Boom. Sh Kinsley knows this Kent guy quite well, and the meter, uh, the whole love meter is like, is pretty much like three quarters full. It's like 75%. So these two know each other quite well and they're madly in love. Again, the whole convenience is boom right there. Which is something that I thought was pretty cool. Like, oh right. I so it kind of like saves the whole trouble and the whole time for me just to get get these two to get to know each other and you know, hopefully they become good friends and then more than good friends or whatever. And same thing with this Kent guy. Boom, right there. Again, Really easy, very convenient. Once you once you switch it from like roommate to uh, to husband or, or or wife or whatever, I haven't tried the whole brother part, but whatever. But maybe I'll try it out some other time. So that's the whole difference right there. It's convenient right there, and you don't have to go through the trouble. So the options is always quite nice. Even features like that are always pretty sweet to have that.